Hmm, such an elegant celebration of love. Hundreds of guests are pouring their congratulations and well wishes. I am just so overcome with happiness. While I was taking in all the joy around me, I heard a voice asking, Will you? <laughs> he didn't even have to finish his sentence. I already know what to say. I do! I answered him, filled with delight, while slowly closing my eyes, puckering my lips, waiting for his soft, gentle lips to touch mine. But instead, all I got back was a tap on the shoulder and the question, Excuse me, miss, can you pour me a drink already? When I opened my eyes, I realized I was lost in another daydream. I was so taken away by the beautiful atmosphere of Ingfa and Shannon's wedding, where I was hired as one of the waitresses. When I turned to the source of the sound, a server's biggest nightmare happened to me. I turned and I knocked my entire tray all over him, spilling everything that was on it all over his suit. I immediately tried to wipe it off, gushing countless I'm sorry's at him. He was not having any of it. He slapped my hand away and snapped, Just leave it, I will do it myself. You really should be more careful. I apologized again and again and again, and I even offered to take his suit to the dry cleaners. But instead of accepting my offer, he looked at his suit and got even madder. I said leave it, why is it so hard for you to understand? And that's about when I started to lose it. Okay fine, I won't help you, what do you want from me? I could almost see the steam coming out of his ears. Just focus on doing your job. If I was your boss, I'd fire you by now. At this point, everyone in the wedding turned their eyes on me and the stupid jerk instead of listening to the maid of honor's speech. Before things got even more heated, the organizer of the party stepped in and profusely apologized to the jerk. Then she turned to me and told me to go home with just half my shift's pay. I couldn't believe it! The money he lost me was worth two meals and a week's transport to work. Urgh! Damn! And while I was being told off, he looked so smug and satisfied. So naturally, I snapped. I mean, I was fired anyway, might as well make it count. I grabbed a champagne bottle, shook it, and after I popped the cork, I turned the bottle to him and just sprayed him all over with it. <laughs> then I ran like I had never ran before. I didn't know if it was far enough, but I figured it should be. <sighs> I took another gulp of the champagne to clench my thirst. Hmm, it really is so smooth. No wonder it's so expensive. Well, since I'm done with work early, maybe I should call Artie, my boyfriend. It's been like three months since we've last seen each other. I've just been so busy working all the time, trying to save money, you know? I don't just have a full-time job, but I'm also taking small jobs here and there, so I never have time for him. I feel sorry for him, but you know, he's really so cool about everything. He never complains and he's always understanding. Well, relationships are never easy. Hello? Hi Artie, I'm done with work, should we meet? He quickly answers. Uh, I can't, I'm with my mom. Oh. How long will you be with her? Um, I don't know, I, I really have no idea. Okay, I have to go, bye. Wow, he was in a rush. Aw, that's a shame. Oh well, another day. At first, I was really excited to come back home, since I have been living abroad for five years. I even got to come to my best friend's wedding. But all that excitement went down the drain, just because of one lunatic girl. There must be something wrong with her. I tried to get her attention like 20 times, but she still didn't turn. Was the music too loud or what? Then when I tapped her shoulder, that's when it happened. And when I told her to stop wiping the champagne off of me, she wouldn't even listen. She was just making it worse by wiping my suit with that filthy rag. Then when I tried to be direct with her, she just got angrier and started arguing with me. She was the one that was wrong. Why is she arguing with me? Ah, oh, then the champagne. My favorite suit is now soaking with champagne. It's just my luck to come across a girl like this. Once is more than enough. Other than this unfortunate situation, my return has actually been quite a blast. I got to see old friends, be a part of my best friend's wedding. It's been a long time since I've had so much fun. Yeah, I have a tough job. People always say what I do is cruel and heartless. But I see it more like I bring balance to corporations and its employees. As I was walking in the parking lot, I noticed something on the hood of my car. Is that a burglar? Where the heck are all the security guards? Wait a minute. It doesn't look like a burglar. It's not moving either. Is it? Oh no. Is it dead? Oh, please no. I mustered up all my courage and walked over. It's a girl. Ah, and she's alive. 
As I was taking a giant exhale of relief, she turned herself around and I just stopped breathing altogether. It's her! Unbelievable! She got drunk and passed out on my car from the champagne she used to spray all over me! I tried to wake her up, but she's completely out. Wasted. What a surprise. Whatever. I gotta get her off my car. But, as it turns out, that was much easier said than done. I went back to the event room, but everything was packed and no one was there. I tried to contact the organizer, but no one answered. Ugh. So I went back to the car to try to find her wallet. Maybe there's some information about her in there. I didn't find a wallet. Just a locked phone. So I thought maybe it would help to put a cold towel on her face. Maybe it would wake her up. Oh, she got up all right, but just to throw up all over my suit jacket that I had put over her. Great. Even unconscious, she still manages to taunt me. You lunatic lush, just stay here, see if I care. I got into the car and I tried not to look at her through the rear view mirror, but urgh, I can't, I just can't do it. She's still unconscious, go figure. Damn it! I put her in the car so frustrated with myself. But I mean, it's not like I could just leave her there. It's not exactly safe. So I brought her home to sleep on my couch and now my housekeepers are taking care of her. Ugh, what a day. I need some rest. I really hope that tomorrow everything will clear itself out.